think we should be starting here. I think we should be. Okay, I'm going to hit the live button. All right, now we are live. Okay, how's it going, everybody? My name is Brandon Bershears, and this is the Veterinary Marketing Podcast channel. I'm going to change the camera angles here really quick. So today we're going to be talking about three things that um, is killing your digital marketing because you're not planning properly. So we're going to talk about a few things why it's so important to plan and, and how to grow your veterinary marketing uh, practice or your, any marketing in general if you're not just a veterinary uh, practice. This is a live stream for my, my page, the Veterinary Marketing Podcast, but I'll also be posting this on my YouTube channel as well. So uh, today we're talking about this right here, which is um, my new planner. It's out on Amazon. You can go and buy it now. It's $20. Uh, it's 201 pages. It's super comprehensive. And it doesn't have the dates filled in, so you can go and fill them in and start at any time of year. I was initially trying to get this thing done before um, the first of the year, but Amazon kept declining the product because of like problems with the resolution and problems with um, the bleed issue, and like it was really complicated. But I got it done, and I'm really really excited about it. I think it's very cool. I think you're gonna like it. It'll help you in your veterinary practice to get more clarity around what you should be talking about. But today we're going to talk about three things and three reasons why you need to create a content plan and a promotional plan for your practice. And um, if you're watching right now, be sure to comment and say what's up. Be sure to say where you're watching from. We're going to jump into the computer here in just a second. And as we do, um, we'll be going over some things. So just uh, as we're getting started here, be sure to say where you're watching from and, and what's up here. I'm going to see, make sure that we are live. Um, it was pretty cool. This time I was able to start the stream and it let me link up a group right below it. So that's pretty cool. If you're watching this and you're not a member of the Veterinary Marketing Nerds group, you should totally join because it's a cool place where cool people are hanging out and uh, getting help on their digital marketing. So there's a few things here that I want to talk about. For Thursday, I'm doing a training at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern, on how to create a comprehensive digital marketing plan. So this is everything from promotion on kind of what you should be creating content-wise, how you, often you should be posting, how you should be scheduling those posts, how you should combine that with your email marketing and your other channels and things like that. So if you're, uh, if you're interested in how to create a content marketing plan, be sure to sign up for that training. It's free. If you go to Veterinary Marketing Podcast, dot com forward slash planner um, and the URL is right here below in this lower thirds um, you can uh, sign up for that for free you don't have to have the planner which is right here I'm going to go over what's included in this though so you can see maybe if you wanted to get it or not um, but kind of the things that we're going to be talking about is going to be built around this planner because I have included a lot of tools here that I think is important to get very very clear on um, so that you can get more out of your marketing all right, so let's get into um, the content for today, though. And just really quick, be sure to sign up. If you do sign up for that training, um, it, it will be recorded, so you'll get a recording of it. If you can't make it live, that's okay. Um, just to let you know, there are only 100 spots available for the live training. If you wanted to jump on there, it's through a Zoom link. So it's more of like a, a meeting rather than a webinar. Um, so if you want to be on that training, be sure to sign up and show up early. I'm not sure we'll fill out 100 spots, but might, so you never know. I want to be sure to get there early. Okay, so um, that being said, if you can order the planner, it will, if you order it today, we'll probably get there by Thursday, depending on where you are in the country. Um, if I order, anyways, I'm in Southern California, so if I order it, it's uh, Amazon Print On Demand, so usually I can get it the very next day um, with Prime. Super cool. Super amazing. Like, I can't believe it that... Um, you're able to build, make something that's print on demand so you don't have to buy inventory. And uh, they just print it and ship it. And it's there the next day. It's pretty dang amazing. All right. I think that that's definitely a cool um, marketing strategy in general. That um, like there's, there's something there. I think I'll probably do a training at some point on this. I'll make sure that. Okay, good. So if you are watching, be sure to comment and say hello and say where you're watching from. I'm going to get started with this training now. So there are three main reasons why I think um, you need to be creating content plans and not just kind of winging it. So a lot of times I get questions from practices and people on everything from like, how often should I post? What should I post? What kind of offer should I put out there? 
And especially with things like dental month, people aren't super clear on what they should be posting, where they should be posting, or how even to get their offers out. And what also happens a lot of times is people say, well, we tried Facebook marketing, we've tried social media marketing, it just doesn't work. And when people say it doesn't work, I typically just think that there's some kind of a dis disconnect between what goals you have and, and the outcomes that you're looking for and kind of the offers that you're making. And so there's usually that, that disconnect that they're not getting any result that they're looking for because it's actually not defined properly. And the kinds of content that they're putting out does not meet those kind of guidelines that they're trying to reach. And so what I mean by that is um, if you take a look at, and this is, I think, the reason number one why you need a content plan is because if you are creating content and you're creating offers, you need to have super clear objectives as to what the end goal is. If you are just posting every day and hoping that the posts that you're doing are going to lead to more clients and customers, you have to first ask yourself, is this something that's measurable? And am I gonna be able to generate clients from this? Or is it just something that I'm just hoping that, that will get attention and people will come in? Because the vast majority of practices that I see posting, they don't have clear objectives when it comes to, okay, this week we're gonna try and generate you know, five new clients for this product or this service. We want them to be cat clients or we want them to be dog clients or puppies or you know, whatever it is you're looking to grow in your practice. If you don't have a clear plan around here's how we're gonna meet those goals, then you're absolutely gonna fail um, just because it's not, it's not gonna happen magically. I'm sure that you've noticed that as you post things on Facebook and Instagram and other platforms, if you're not super intentional about who you're targeting and getting your messaging out there, it just kind of gets lost in the sheer volume of posts and content that's, that's being put out. So if you don't have a specific strategic plan, it's not gonna work out. Um, Unless you're super like remarkable or you're creating viral content that just is like amazing, which it totally could happen um, if you're not, you know, actually going out and, and trying to create your content and your offers with intention. It just is not going to happen. So that's that's reason number one why I think that you need to have a very specific content plan and promotion plan to accompany that content plan. The second reason that most people need to create a content plan is... You need to know who you're creating all of your content for. You need to know who your offers are for, and you need to understand kind of what the client avatar is that you're trying to reach. So if you, again, just say, I want everybody to be my, my client and everybody to come into my practice, chances are um, the content that you create is not gonna be very specific, and so it'll be general. And in today, and the, the landscape of digital marketing today, when you create general kind of basic content, it's not interesting, it's not compelling, and it's hard to drive action if you're trying to reach everybody. So understanding, you know, maybe this month we're doing dental, right? dental month's coming up, so having content that's built around dental month and then offers that are built around dental month and how you schedule those is very important when you're trying to actually drive new dental clients into your practice. So, um, Going back to like saying, you know, okay, I've tried this and it simply doesn't work. Again, the problem is you're not creating offers that are relevant to the people that are engaging or seeing your content. So you want to make sure that everything matches up, that your brand is is really building out um, with intent and instead of just kind of winging it and trying to guess what you should be posting. And I think that that's the third reason that you should have a content plan and not planning is, is hurting you. If you have to sit down and think every day, like, okay, what, what should I post today? This is gonna be like, I need to get something out to um, engage with my clients or, or prospective clients. What should I make? And having to come up with that every single day and not knowing for sure if it is something that's gonna be beneficial or not. It, it creates a lot of stress and then also creates uncertainty. And so not only do you create lower quality content because you're just trying to churn something out, but you're also creating stuff that just does not match well together. And so you're not creating the right audiences um, to be showing your offers to. And ultimately the content that you're, you're putting out there is just kind of missing because it's missing the mark with your audiences because it's not super clear on who the, who the stuff's for and also what the purpose is of it. So if you're not actively creating a plan, you're just hopefully posting stuff out there 
for the sake of posting it, you're not going to be seeing a return on investment. Or if you are, it's going to be very difficult to measure because you're not going to be able to attribute to what's working and what's not working. And so as a result, everything just is kind of disjointed and, and not working well together. And so that's why I think that building out a plan is like ultimately one of the most important things to do, especially if you are wanting to create marketing that's measurable. And so um, I think that measurable marketing is absolutely something that everybody tries to achieve. They want to know where their clients are coming from, which things are working best, and what the cost is involved with that. So um, that's why I created this planner and the planner's course. So again, there's the course. If you can sign up for it, it's going to be a live recorded webinar that's on Zoom. So you'll be able to ask questions and I'll talk to you about creating promotional content, creating um, informational content, bonding content, the different ratios that you should do and in, in putting these out, in my opinion. So how, how often should you be selling or how often should you be putting out offers? How often should you be creating content that's just engaging and segmenting? How often should you be doing promotional content, educational content, all of those things? I'm going to share that with you on this training and I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, and very powerful for you, especially if you're not sure what to post. If you've ever said, like, what should we do for, like, this week? Which, how can we get more clients in the door? And ultimately, if your job is um, social media marketing or planning for your practice, if that's part of your job description, um, I think that that's probably a common problem is your, your boss wants to know what is the cost to get a new client in the door. And if you're not sure, it's, it's hard to, to tell them. Well, I, I don't know. I know that it's working or I know it's beneficial, but we're really not sure. Hopefully, if you're able to get a, a decent plan together and figure out, okay, these are the objectives for this plan. This is why we're doing this. And build a whole strategy around it. You're going to be able to get measurable ROI. So let's. I'm going to show you really quick here. Along with this, uh, this training, it goes really well with um, this planner that I've created for you. It's on Amazon. It's in the link of this uh, video. So um, we have benchmarks that we set um, so that you can track all the stats between last year and this year. We have a section for notes. We have a section for goals. We have a section to list out all of your digital assets so that you know what you can use and build offers around. We have a keyword and a hashtag tracker. Um, this is great for AdWords, Instagram, or SEO tracking in general. We have a headline formula generator, which is kind of cool because sometimes it's hard to get ideas for headlines on emails and also posts and, and how do you create more so that we have some notes so that you can also workshop out some some headlines ideas and then we have the ideal client avatar worksheet which helps you really get clear on like again defining who your content is for is ridiculously important because you're going to be able to create all of the messaging and all of the emotion around the offers that you're creating it needs to be for one specific audience you're going to be so much more effective if you know who your specific audiences are. So that's just something that's pretty cool. All right, and so back to it, we have, again, we have, I put in four client avatars inside the book. So this is the PDF of what the book looks like here. Then I have a landing page checklist, so it helps you to get really clear about how to create landing pages that will help you convert your, your offers and just the elements that we need to um, include in there. And so we have several of those that you can create landing pages. Now, when I'm talking about content plans and things, I like to rotate the offers because you're going to hit ad fatigue for sure, unless you're in a huge town. Like, let's say you're in a really densely populated city. Um, you're just going to run through and, and start to hit ad fatigue. People will get bored of your offer. Your ad prices will go up and your results cost per actions will go up. So um, you want to make sure and include multiple offers. And that's why we have multiple landing pages and, and things. Then we have the month. We have our goals here that we're going to be putting in our, on our monthly planner here. And then we have our weekly planners set up. They're obviously set up so that you can write in them. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is that I made it eight and a half by 11. So it's, it's like super big. You can write in it. And I, so it's made to be like a workbook that you're, you're writing in. So that's why I made it like that. And then we have detailed ad trackers, um, which is cool. So this is like for the ad creation. One thing, um, I was reading a book that was by uh, Ray Dalio, and he's one of the most uh, successful hedge fund managers of all time. It's a book called Principles. It's actually a really good book for managers. So if you're a manager, I highly suggest that book. 
Um, it's about the principles he used to create his business. He's the most successful hedge fund manager of all time. Um, and so he's a very smart guy. But one thing that he started doing, which I thought was pretty interesting, was he started writing down basically every time he made a trade, he would write down uh, what he was thinking was happening, the emotion behind that, that trade, and then why he did what he did before going into it so that he could kind of get back into the frame of mind when he was reviewing what was a winner and what was a loser, he could apply kind of logic to that. And so super smart, I thought. And I actually started doing that with my ads where I would say, okay, here's here's my target, here's my headline, here's my text and image that I'm gonna be using, here's the emotion that I'm gonna be using for it, and here's why I think this is gonna work. And then I would go back through and uh, I would kind of see if what I was thinking was right, the emotion behind the content that I was putting out was working, and kind of what the response was. What's up, Cheyenne? How's it going? All right, so we're sharing through here what is going to be in this. We have every single month we have ad trackers and campaign trackers so that we can get really clear about what we're going to be promoting alongside the content. So when you're creating content, it's important to create content. And the reason why it is important is because it lets you segment your audience and create the audiences that you're going to be showing offers to. That's ultimately why we're doing digital marketing. If you're not creating offers, you're gonna just get people that by default need your services instead of seeking out people who need their services but they might not know that they need them. So um, anyways, that being said, um, that's kind of an overview. You, you get a definitely a gist of what's included in the, that planner and um, I'm really excited about it and I think that it's gonna be very, very helpful for you in your veterinary practice. So if you want to get it, I believe you still can get it in time. It's depend. I mean, it's it's through Amazon. I don't handle the fulfillment of it. So if you buy it, there's a link in the in the video for it. And um, be sure to sign up for the training that is on Thursday at 1 p.m. If you're not able to make it again, that's okay. It is at veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash planner is where you can register for it. You'll get a Zoom link in your email directly after registering. So um, if anybody has any questions, be sure to comment on this post. I'll be sure to monitor it and uh, respond to questions as they come in. Otherwise, um, I will see you later. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you're having a great Monday. Um, there's a new podcast episode that launched today. And uh, check that out too. So have a great day, everybody. I will see you later.